3, transforming graphs of functions, example 9. In part A, we have to sketch two graphs on the same axes. So first of all, modulus of 5x take 2. So if the mod signs weren't there, we'd have a straight line graph with a gradient of 5 going through the y-axis at minus 2. So that would look approximately like that. So this gives me an idea of what the mod graph is going to look like. So that positive section there, I'm going to leave it as it was. However, the negative section will be reflected in the x-axis and we get a graph something like this. Let's just mark on this graph. So that's the modulus of 5x take 2. It'll go through the y-axis. 0, 2, and it'll go through the x-axis. Well, if 0 equaled 5x minus 2, x would be 2 fifths. Right, that's the first graph. The second graph, mod of 2x. I do need to consider which graph is going to be steeper. So let's think about mod 2x. So the gradient is going to be 2, whereas the original graph, the um, mod of 5x minus 2, has a gradient of 5. This one's not going to be as steep as the first one. The graph of y equals 2x, so it's not as steep as the graph I've already drawn, and this graph will go through the origin. So without the mod signs, it would look something like that. With the mod signs, it will get to the origin. And then the y values become negative, so then they will be reflected, and we'll have a graph looking something like that. Let's just label that. This is y equals mod of 2x. So here it has a gradient of 2 compared to the other one, which have a gradient of 5. And the reflected graphs, the red one, a gradient of minus 2, the black one, a gradient of minus 5. So that's part A done. Now part B, solve the equation, and you can see it's the two graphs we've already drawn. Let's look at the graph and see how many times they intersect. Well, one, two. These graphs intersect twice, so I'm expecting two solutions. Let's think about this statement in part b, mod of 5x minus 2 equals mod of 2x. Well, that means the thing inside the modulus, 5x minus 2, must either be equal to positive 2x or negative 2x. This goes back to example 8, where I used a similar method. If we have modulus of something equaling a number, that means the something must equal positive or negative a. So this will work here because we also have modulus on both sides. This still works. So I'm going to split this into two possibilities. And you can see we're expecting two solutions anyway. So 5x minus 2 will either equal 2x or 5x minus 2 will equal minus 2x. Let's quickly solve these. We get 3x equals 2. So x is 2 thirds. And on the other one, 7x equals 2. So x is 2 sevenths. Now looking at the graph, we can see those are sensible answers. Both solutions, we're going to have positive x values. And from the graph, one of them is going to be smaller than 2 fifths. Well, 2 sevenths is smaller than 2 fifths, and the other one is going to be bigger than 2 fifths. 2 thirds is bigger than 2 fifths. So that solution there, x would be 2 thirds, and the other one, x would be 2 sevenths. And once again, we can quickly find out if our solutions are correct by substituting them back into the original equation, and if they work, we know they are correct.